Hello, we're the Kaiju Critics. Spelled with two Ks because I'm still naked. Anyway, today Gabber's going to run the show. Yeah. And with that vote of confidence, I'm pleased to announce that we're going to be reviewing Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Ah, oh, the Steven Spielberg classic from 1977. You know, to be honest, I've never actually seen the film. Neither have I, but that doesn't matter. Because I'm going to be reviewing actual close encounters of the third kind. What? Let's start with the Kelly Hopkinsville encounter of 1955. Two thumbs up. Next up is the close encounter of Cusack from 1967. Another winner. The Reverend William Booth Gill sighting of 1959. Totally obscure, but totally awesome. Don't you see, X-Ray? Please stop calling me that. Righto! Don't you see, X-Wing? X-Wing? What kind of nickname is that? Don't you see? There is a ton of evidence to indicate that we are not alone in this universe. Well, duh. Duh? If you'll recall, I come from outer space. Oh, yeah! That is pretty common knowledge, isn't it? Yep. So I don't need to present you with any proof? Nope. All right, man. Looks like I won't be needing your help to convince X-Wing after all. Yeah, he's always like that. And trust me, you're not the first one to notice. Who's that? Oh, that's my friend, Mr. Poupon. He's a gray. Gray Poupon. Mais oui. He just thought projected that he likes you, and he wants to offer you a spin in one of his tricked out rides. You can choose from his sport model saucer, his Belgian style black triangle, his flying chevron, his diamond shaped ship, there's a tongue twister for you, his flying oval, or his cigar shaped craft. He just wanted me to let you know that even though he has a cigar-shaped craft, he doesn't smoke. Quite bad for your health, you know. Why does he have so many UFOs? Dude, this gray is like the Jay Leno of Zeta Reticuli. And to him, they're identified flying objects. IFOs. Quaint. I'll take the chevron out for a spin. If he doesn't mind, of course. He's cool with it. Looks like we have a Phoenix Lights fan on our hands, don't we, Mr. Poupon? He either just laughed, or he inquired where he might be able to pick up 223 grams of unpentium. Stable isotope, of course. Either way, we're off! These controls are so exotic, I can't even find the radio. Oh, wait, here it is. Wait a second, why do you only have AM? Mr. Poupon likes to listen to Art Bell and the Golden Oldies. Why would he need anything else? He also indicated that he doesn't want to be a backseat driver, but he does want you to know that you've had your directionals on for at least three light years. Yeah. But he says, all things considered, you're doing great. Sweet. I like to rub my talon-like fingers through your gossamer hair. 